Hello. Hi. My name is Maja Kibajaniak. I'm Jakub Marcinkowski. It's a great pleasure to welcome you to the presentation under the title Sustainable Last My Delivery and Returns on E-Commerce, Perspective of Various Stakeholders. How can we accelerate the transition to net zero freight system in urban areas? Uh, our presentation was uh, developed in collaboration with our colleagues, uh, which who we currently developing the research project under the title Sustainable Last My Deliver on E-Commerce Market, Perspective of Various Stakeholders, funded by the Polish National Science Center. Today we would like to uh, shortly uh, focus on the problems related to the last my deliver and returns on e-commerce, then we would like to discuss the motivation for the research and the purpose of the research and the unique value. After that, we would like to present research methods and study design. Following that, we will turn to the study results and discussion and conclusions. So, what are the problems for last my deliver and returns? I think that we all can observe for several years increasing and dynamic development of e-commerce, which cause congestion. Um, and also we can find out that there are many concentration of regulations in the city and the problem is that many of them are not consultant with other stakeholders. Uh, we can also observe incorrect vertical road marking and uh, different levels of city developments what make it difficult to improve the particular cities. There are also many road accidents, increasing costs, congestion and environment degradation which come from all these problems. So what we like to uh, why we decided to focus on this topic, first of all, we, we observed increasing requirements of e-customers for last mile delivery. Secondly, we also in, observed the requirements of European commissions for zero emission cities. So many cities has to have to adjust to those requirements. There are also many challenges for changing preferences of various stakeholders for last mile deliveries toward more sustainable. To, to motivate stakeholders to change their preferences toward more sustainable, uh, to change their behavior. We found out also in the literature review, research gap in holistic approach to developing sustainable as my delivery, including perspective of all stakeholders. So the purpose of the presentation is to analyze the preferences of various groups of stakeholders in terms of last mile deliveries and returns, as well as to identify factors that may motivate them to make sustainable choices in this area in order to accelerate the transition to net zero freight system in urban areas. In order to achieve the objective, we have conducted a survey among 1,200 Polish e-customers and focus interviews with representatives of local authorities, courier companies and online platforms. So the uh, research procedures consist of four stages. In the first stage, we have uh, conducted critical literature review and also uh, organized years ago expert panels with scientists from actually all over Europe, from very prestigious universities. Based on this, we have identified the potential factors that may affect the choice of the delivery methods in the case of purchase made via the internet. Then we have conducted study uh, on stakeholders' preferences for last mile deliveries and returns. We have conducted a survey among 1,200 e-customers. Um, in this survey, we have also used conjoint analysis. And based on the study results, we have conducted factor analysis. Um, we have extended our research to the interviews with uh, various stakeholders. In the third stage, we have uh, conducted a study on the impact of various business models or options for last mile deliveries on the environment, society and economics. We have invited 12 uh, scientists from prestigious university from Brazil, Europe, Australia uh, to evaluate in the qualitative way the impact of particular options for last mile delivery on sustainability. Um, Finally, we have evaluated and ranked the, the business models for sustainable as my deliveries and returns in terms of the impact on the environment, society and economics with the use of uh, multi-criteria decisions methods we use in this uh, aspect in this uh, research Prometheus tool. Based on this, we have obtained the ranking of 
options uh, for asthma delivery from the most sustainable to the so we have uh, used in our uh, conjoint analysis four factors which have been identified based on the literature re review and expert methods uh, those factors were also adjusted to the polish reality so we have uh, choose delivery method price delivery date and means of transport for each factor we have uh, developed uh, a few uh, levels to assess each factor by ICAS. So based on our study results uh, among e -customer, e customers in Poland, we have obtained the ranking of the most uh, and the least preferred options for last mile delivery. So as you can see, uh, actually the most important factor for customers was the price. So we can see that three the most preferred options for last mile delivery were for free. Uh, then we can see that the next three were uh, options for last mile delivery were with the standard price and the least preferred options was were those which were uh, with the price higher than the standard one. So the most preferred options was the home delivery or delivery to the parcel lockers uh, for free uh, with the standard delivery date or customized with ecological means and in the second positions is any means of transport. Then, based on the uh, conjoint analysis, we have um, uh, we have selected five scenarios. Uh, three are the most uh, preferred scenarios by e-customers. Fourth and fifth scenario are the less preferred. And we ask our scientists, our experts, to um, assess each of options for last mile delivery, uh, the impact of these options for sustainability. We used we, to to do this. We use Delphi method. We uh, run two rounds and, uh, and we have used uh, three three areas of um, sustainability like environment society economics and for each area we have developed uh, a few criteria based on the literature review so each um, expert were, was asked to assess based on this particular criteria the impact of each options on the on each criteria so finally, after the DEFI method, we have obtained ranking. Uh, you can see uh, here on the, in the table and as well and on the scheme that we have uh, the ranking of the scenarios or options for last mile delivery. So the most sustainable options for last mile delivery, according to the experts, was the, um, the options where the delivery is to the pickup point or to some Amazon store petrol station for free. Uh, in the date it's indicated by the customer as the delivery is with the ecological means of transport. As you can see, this uh, particular option was on the third place as the most preferred by the e-customers. At the same time, we can see that the most preferred options for customers, which was scenario three, was assessed by the experts as the one of the least sustainable options. You can see also the results of the interview with one of the, our uh, courier uh, company. Mm, as uh, I mentioned before, we are in process of uh, conducting our interviews with other stakeholders. So the courier company chose as the most preferred home delivery. We know that we have also company which for which is the most preferred place of delivery. It's a, a parcel machine. Then delivery cost covered by customers with the standard delivery day and the ecological means of transport. So we have, we can observe the difference, especially in the price that customers would like to obtain delivery for free, but courier companies would like to deliver, uh, uh, would like customers to pay for the delivery. Now I will ask my colleague to uh, present the other study results. And now I would like to present uh, the results of the interviews with uh, other stakeholders. Firstly, local authorities. We have conducted uh, interviews with uh, eight uh, capital cities of Polish uh, provinces. The research is still in progress. However, we can present some uh, some results. Um, firstly, uh, local authorities are definitely in favor of being the organizer and the regulator in terms of the um, encouraging couriers and transport companies with um, various activities. Uh, with uh, preferring deliveries by uh, ecological means of transport and uh, with the deliveries that are conducted in a specific date 
uh, enter place. Uh, in contrary, um, local authorities uh, are against uh, being uh, the passive observer with no specific preferences, uh, without the possibility uh, of uh, using um, uh, different means of, of transport and without uh, preferences in terms of the uh, choosing the dates and place of, uh, of delivery, so without any uh, regulation. At the same time, uh, we found out that uh, the highest rate for the factor that could encourage local authorities for sustainable freight transport is absolutely uh, legislative and financial um, uh, motives from, through, for example, European Union funds, national funds on, or other European Union um, uh, regulations. We have also conducted interviews with uh, e-shops, only three uh, e-shops, however, the research is still uh, in progress. Uh, here we can see that uh, e-shops, online uh, shops uh, in Poland, are definitely in favor of uh, modern personalized parcel local delivery with ecological means of transport, uh, with uh, very individualized uh, delivery time hour indicated by a client, and what is interesting, uh, delivery cost that is covered by e-shop. Uh, secondly, a very important uh, or very uh, useful from this perspective is classic home delivery with ecological means of transport with standard delivery uh, time, uh, also with costs uh, covered by, um, by um, a client. The factors that can uh, motivate for more sustainable last mile deliveries uh, are definitely um, requirements, for, uh, requirements from customers, uh, some legal regulations, uh, and of course a positive impact on uh, companies. Uh, fine. We have also um, prepared the factor uh, analysis for uh, 13 uh, different uh, factors identified in literature uh, review. The factors that uh, can encourage uh, to choose the different uh, methods of delivery for products purchased via the internet. As we can see, uh, the factor analysis resulted in uh, preparing three different groups of factors. The first one, the first group of factors, the fundamental requirements, um, is called the fundamental requirements and uh, refers to the um, economic factors like delivery price or free return, as well as to the factors uh, related to the security and trust um, in the supplier. Uh, the second group of factors, uh, very important from the perspective of the research, are uh, pro-sustainable factors that focuses on those who can uh, be in favor for the environment, society and uh, economics, so all three pillars of um, uh, sustainability. The last one, the third group, uh, can be described as the dimensions of the parcel delivered to the customer, so the weight of the package and the size um, of the, um, the package. So, what can we conclude from the, uh, from the research that uh, our team have uh, conducted? The research shows that there are differences in preferences for last mile deliveries um, among stakeholders. Uh, the most desirable uh, method of delivery indicated by customers is definitely free home delivery in standard hours uh, using ecological means of transport. Uh, from the perspective of uh, career companies, the most uh, preferred option uh, is um, almost the same as the e customer, with the exception that career companies expect that e customer will cover delivery costs. Uh, for e customers, the most preferred option for sustainable last mile deliveries are those that include um, uh, free um, delivery. Our research shows that uh, the convenience, so as we understand home delivery and return, is also uh, essential for many customers and that uh, environmental protection is not an essential criterion when choosing the delivery method and it, it's a very important uh, issue for our further um, uh, research. Uh, the current research shows also that factors that determine method of delivery can be grouped into three categories, so uh, the fundamental requirements, uh, pro-sustainable factors and dimensions of the um, um, during the study, uh, we identified some options for last mile delivery, which can constitute a compromise between creating value for uh, e-customers uh, from the one side and co-creating co value for the city um, on the second side. Uh, local authorities are focused on being organizers and regulators in last mile um, deliveries. In contrary, e-shops are more in favor of modern personal, personalized parcel local deliveries with ecological means um, of, of, of uh, transport. And the last one, uh, the real integration and cooperation of stakeholders is needed to co-create uh, the sustainable last mile uh, supplies, which will result in changing preferences and expectations for last mile uh, delivery. That's all. Thank you very much uh, for listening to us and if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask us.
please contact us below. You have email addresses.